Greetings, and thank you for coming to support us by watching today's video. If you would like to support us even more, you can do so by clicking on the like button, posting a comment down below, and of course, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button. And let's go. A boss duel is imminent. We must go and deal with whatever is at the end of this path. But whatever could it be? And will we have to fight something before we can even find out what we're fighting? Nope. What are we going to have to deal with? Oh, is that the key? What do you even know? Now that was a piece of the cake. Until we fight a boss. Whoa! Which is a giant bomb that just ate the freaking key. Well... So much for a piece of cake, I guess. This is rather unfortunate. Yeah, we have a giant bomb to deal with as a boss. Maybe he'll cough it up if we thump him on the back. Give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, then do it, do it! Okay. Seriously? Well, it kind of is a spherical object. Okay. That's first of all, inflict neutral damage, bypasses defense, allows... So yeah, I want to start with this. Let's see how Tifa works. Let's have her make her debut. Here she comes! Do what you gotta do. She's charging up. Double barrel fists coming right at the giant bomb. And she's gonna send it rolling. Yeah, she made that thing roll for 1800 points. And that helped give us a boost too. Yeah, that was definitely a good use there against the King Bomb. You are indeed weak to water, as I knew you would be. You do come equipped with fire. But yeah, all water all the time. Okay. Um, I don't have fire through lawn. So yeah, we'll have to... Um, just attack you normally, I guess. And it is better for me to use water here. Here it comes again. I forget, do I have protect here? No, I don't. Alright, then just attack normally. Just attack normally. Still can only cast fire. Here comes more water. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to do something where it may actually get bigger. Um, you know what, just keep attacking. And we are fast enough that we can outrun him, which is very crucial in this fight. The fact that we can outrun him is a big deal for me. Oh, critical hit. Good job, Lon. Oh, Firaga! Well, thankfully, it didn't hurt me all that much. It wasn't completely devastating. Could have been worse, though. We're 46. He's gonna outrun me here. Ugh, crap. Well, thankfully, I can keep casting water. And not break my stride. Meanwhile, I should have Lon use a high potion on himself, on his team. And once again, we can outrun him. Which means more water in his face. I've got this. Will this be enough to doubt to take him out? It is. He's going out in style. Oh, he almost finished us off. Victory. Thankfully, our HP was high enough that we were able to endure that. So yeah, go team. We got a King F a Bomb Memento, a Mega Phoenix, and six Armor Gems. Not to mention 1,200 Gil. 
But yeah, that would have been heartbreaking if they completely wiped us out. Good thing my HP was high enough. Check it out. Dude, it's just like the prophecy said. I guess. What's up? You don't seem very happy. No, it's not that at all. I just... You feel conflicted about the power you have. And this is something that we've... That has been shown before in cutscenes. So we obtained the Key of Flames. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like an animated sequence here. Or a more traditional animated sequence. Why did it get so quiet all of a sudden? Is it because we gave that bomb the old heave the hoe? I'd like to think so, <laughs> but... An earthquake? Whoa! It must be a big one! What's coming our way? It's a dragon. Specifically, it looks like Leviathan. Don't drown you three. Whatever you do, don't drown. Oh, we got attacked by the bad guys. Oh, who took Rydia. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. I get a trophy for my storyline progress, but that's beside the point, sadly. Oh, heartbreak for us. Yeah, that's not good. Chapter 12. Ribbit Jiggle Panic. So, unfortunately we're both face down. We're all face down. <laughs> yeah, come around you guys. Make that a double jelly sandwich! We're gonna need some therapy after this. <laughs> Perhaps. Please, no more cosmic flushing. <laughs> uh, 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 Did we end up back at the Lowlands? I don't think we're in Nibelheim anymore. Not by a long shot. No, this is completely different. The wind swept mire. For starters, why don't we take a look around? Agreed. In fact, this looks like a pretty small area right now. That is one deep swamp. Maybe we shouldn't go this way after all. Why not? I mean, where else can we go? Ribby. Ribby ra rib. Ribby ra rib. And who might you be? What's with this toad? It's, it's Michigan J. Frog. Because it doesn't act like one. Ribbit. Ribbit. Ribbity, ribbity, ribbit. Ribbit? Ribbity ribbit? The rib? Ribbit? You trying to translate it? Ribbit. Ribbit. The bib. What? You speak Toe's? Of the course I do. Listen, you can tell from his accent that he's been the toad cursed. Uh oh. He's a guy? They have accents? Obviously. Ribbit? Ribbity the ribbity This is actually quite hilarious. Ribbit? Ribbit. 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 What'd he say? From what I gather, it sounds like that golden toad over there is the Vivian that put the curse on him. So we gotta kill it? Oh, so all we have to do is defeat him. That's the correct. First off, you need to the imprisonment the same as always. It needs to be imprisoned, okay, though. Go got wow. Careful, you don't get toad cursed. Right. Huh? You mean you're not coming? Well, it's game over if we both go full toad, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Right. Yeah, I guess we'll have to leave with that thing. Oh, Rain actually is not going to participate at all. <laughs> well, this is heartbreaking. Alright. So somehow we have to imprison this thing. Ribbit, ribbity, ribbit, 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 ribbit. Whoa, is it just me or does he look miffed? I think he already was. Where did you learn to talk like that? You need to go to wash your mouth out with a bar of soap. <laughs> Lucky Toad. Well, let's see what it requires to imprison. Okay, it just needs to be weakened. Okay. If that's all we gotta do, then that's what we'll do. How much do we score, though? 500, okay. Okay. 
Oh, critical hit. But that causes it to be imp be weakened enough for an imprisoning opportunity. But I imagine we need to... Yeah, this is going to be a bit complicated because I really don't want to crit hit this thing. Whatever you do, don't crit hit it. Crit hit it. <laughs> See what I did there. Oh shit! No! Okay, it can't be killed. I was about to say, thank goodness, it cannot be killed. It just has to be imprisoned. Okay. Oh! I was thinking to myself, no! We screwed it up, no! But thankfully, we didn't. The game forces me to not kill it off. Wow. So we even befriended the lucky toad. Anyone lucky enough to chance upon this toad would be blessed with good fortune. Unless, of course, you hate amphibians, in which case there's nothing fortunate about it at all. And we obviously have to take it with us. Let's put, use it in place of the dual lizard. There we go. So now that it's in our possession... Who do we help out? Snow? <laughs> Look who's back, baby. Oh, great. Snow Villiers from Final Fantasy 13. I guess you are. You guys seriously just saved my life. And it's actually his voice actor. The name's Snow. I came to butt kick the big jiggle lurking in this swamp. And then along the way, I saw this awesome golden toad and thought, man, you don't see too many of those, but who knew? The things are contagious. So then, toad me was all like, what am I even gonna do? Could I really eat flies or live on lily pads? Deep questions. But then you all came along and saved my warts. <laughs> Not to mention all the other, the rest you of you. You the best, <laughs> for real, bro. Dude, I have no idea what's wrong with you, but as long as you're happy. And indeed he is. Talk the dome to? Never the thought I'd see the day. <laughs> What's your deal? Where are you from? Well, let us break it down for you. You say you got swept here all the way from Nibelheim? Wow. And here I thought I had it pretty rough. I mean, Nibelheim, isn't that one continent up? How are you guys even alive? That's a good question. I know. It's so crazy. I guess we're getting kind of pro at it? <laughs> I don't want to be a pro at it. Anyway. It seems we're the stuck here. All the goop around here makes it the hard to look for a way out. Oh, yeah. Well, you got that right. One false step and your history. So, okay, I think you can help us out? How did you get out here, Snow? <laughs> Just like this! Oh, that's right. You come with transportation. Yeah. Namely... The creepiest motorcycle ever. Or they're not gonna actually show it as, as such. Whoa! Cool idea! Wait a minute. Are you a summoner? Wish I could say I was. But no. Sadly, summoner is way too fancy a word for what I am. Huh? Yeah. But You're a let's see. So, what's the game plan? I don't mind showing you the way out if that's what you want. How about you? Are you still gonna butt kick the big jiggle or whatever it was? You know it. Captain Ginyu Force? It be too far from where we are now. So it's like a mirage? Yep. Me and Jiggles have got some history. <laughs> I got you. Then maybe we can help you out. Uh, really? We're sort of on a journey to round up mirages anyway. <laughs> so basically, the more you butt kick, the more we profit. Uh, I got you now. Well, let's team up then. That stupid big jiggle will never know what hit it. <laughs> yeah, that's A, crazy, and B, cool. Alright. Oh, we are allowed out here. Okay. We are allowed to depart from this place, which we will do, actually. But yeah, that's nuts. We have snow. Now... For those of you who don't know what I'm referring to, in Final Fantasy XIII, the way that the plot works, and sorry if I'm spoiling you, is that each of the main characters for your party 
gets their own summon, gets their own Mirage slash Esper slash... Or in that, in that game, they're referred to as Eidolons. And Snow gets Shiva. But what's... The difference is, is that you saw how that um, girl was able to use a wheel to create a wall, uh, path of ice. Well, the way it works for Snow is that there is actually a second half of Shiva that looks like the first one, but is black. And what the two Shiva girls do is that they come together to form a motorcycle which Snow rides on. Don't take that out of context, but I'm sure you will. But in any event, now that we have successfully gone past Valley 7, and we know that a swamp is now our next destination, I think we're gonna go ahead and save it and call it for tonight. We've gotten two hours of content all taken care of. And in addition to that, we were able to solve yet another puzzle in regards to finding the correct mirage for a job. And so, um, unfortunately we weren't able to get a lot of treasure with that red dragon. I was really hoping we would, but unfortunately we didn't. Plus, I still don't quite understand why I was able to successfully unlock a transfiguration, but I cannot actually make the monster, or the mirage rather, transfigure. I always keep calling them monsters, but that's not what they're called in this game, they're called mirages. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be ever be able to stop calling them monsters. <laughs> but in any event, we have made it past another major location, and we can now move on to the next major location, with Snow from Final Fantasy XIII at our side. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play World of Final Fantasy Live here at Let's Play Novora Autism. And I will likely be joining you guys again for the continuation of this series on Saturday because, of course, next Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, so guess what everyone's going to be doing, including me. And for those of you who are wondering who I'm picking for the game, um, well, I'm not taking my aunt's choice, which is the Patriots, because she is, she is one of the many people who jumped on the Brady bandwagon when he suddenly became a thing, and helped out New England, being the team that they are. But, no, because they win so much, I'm going for the underdog, and I'm pulling for the Atlanta Falcons and their quarterback, Matt Ryan. Because he's been around for over a, de a dozen years now, and he's never really been able to have a team that's really been able to help him succeed as much as this one has. So it's my hope that he'll be able to be the underdog and pull off the upset like Eli Manning has done in two previous Super Bowls against Tom Brady and the Patriots. But we'll see how it goes next Sunday. So thank you very much everyone for watching, and until I see you guys next time for the continuation of Let's Play World of Final Fantasy Live, this is Matthew at Novara Autism saying take care, and I'll see you soon.